So I recently changed the brakes on this guy, but the brake pad sensor, uh, wear sensor was already pretty far gone. It hadn't yet tripped, but when I pulled it out, it must have been enough to jiggle it loose. And so now the the uh, brake warning light is on in the car. So we're gonna do a little bypass today. So once you get the tire off, and on mine it's on the rear passenger side, brake pad sensor, there's this wire, it's held in place at the caliper by the bleeder valve, this guy right here, and it just pops out. There is a little retaining clip that sits in there. Um, Sometimes it gets stuck on the sensor side, but this one came out with it. And you can see it's pretty worn down. It only just, probably can't see it on the camera, but it only just tripped. So there's no harm in doing this because she's a goner anyway. And if it doesn't work, it has to get replaced either way. We are going to Oh, there you go. That's why she tripped. You can see that the wires separated out of the body, which is what we're going to do anyway. So we'll cut off the other end. We'll peel this guy off. And we're just going to tie these two together. Heat shrink them, zip tie them in place. Not a whole lot of magic here. This will trick the car into thinking that the wear sensor is still in an untriggered position and life will be good again. So I'm just gonna twist these up. Put some heat shrink down over it. Oh, it's working outside in the wind. go. Now I'm just going to put another piece of maybe the same size just to and go a little size bigger and just to really snug it up. Overkill. Then we could still use this to kind of clip it in place, but it probably won't be super secure. So I'm just going to pull it back up to the control arm and zip tie it right up here. And there she'll live for a while. There, so got it zip tied up on the end. I might come back later and just put another zip tie on here, but for now, it'll be good enough. Should close the valve, we'll get the tire back on, then we'll reset the light in the car side. Now my brake warning light went away when I started the car. But if you have any codes that show up in the middle, like my halo lights out, so that always shows the bulb symbol right in the middle, you need to press the BC button until you get back to the clock. And then hold down on the odometer trip button and keep holding until you see this menu. 
and then you can use the BC paddle to go through the menu and hold down BC and keep holding it down to initiate the reset. So this is the rear brake one. And that's that. No more brake warning in my face when I drive. So again, I'm not worried about it because I think the brakes are gonna outlast the car, but inspect your brakes and you'll be fine. So this is a picture of a brand new one. See, on this one, a little nub at the top and some of the casing has already been worn down. But if you look close, it hasn't broken all the way through yet. And this is the side that snaps into the brake pad. And as the brake pad wears down, eventually the nub will be at the same level as the pad. It'll wear away. And as the brake pad continues to wear, this will keep rubbing along with the brakes on the rotor until it finally breaks through and it, it's just a wire in there. So when it breaks all the way through the plastic casing, it will break through the uh, wire strand and cut the connection. It's just a little metal retaining clip that holds it in place. So on this one that we cut off, I stripped back the two tiny bits of remaining wires. Now this one, I'm pretty sure would still work if this red wire had not broken off on the harness end, it, it broke off right at the tip here. The green wire was still connected. So when I pulled it out to put on the new pads and put it back in place, this red wire had broken loose. I mean, it's been on the car for years now. Um, I'm just gonna take a multimeter and we're just gonna do a little continuity test and see if I'm right. And there you go. So if this wire hadn't broke, the sensor would still have worked and it could have stayed on the car. And eventually when the brake pads got so low that it would catch up to this surface here, they would continue to wear, this would wear through and it would trip the light as it's supposed to and tell me, hey, you're out of brakes. But really when it gets to the point that it trips this your brakes are extremely low extremely low so you should be checking them regularly anyway and replace them before it hits your sensors <laughs>